Hello and welcome back to Compiler Programming. Today we are going to do some metaprogramming in C, that is, we're just going to write a program that will generate another program. And the purpose of all of that will be to start to give access to these um, structures and types that we have in the compiler inside of the um, inside of mass programs. So we'll need to have all of these type definitions and exporting them manually by hand will be kind of annoying and awkward. So instead, I want to start working on a small C program that will just output both the version that is gonna be used in C and the version that's gonna be used in mass. And we're not gonna do all of it today, but I just wanted to sort of have the overall setup and uh, get started with maybe a couple of these things. Um, also will tell us you know, what we are actually missing in terms of features uh, in Mass and uh, help us guide the future development. For now, the job would be to try to uh, be able to write a simple struct. I think for now we will not even have enums. Um, in traditional sense, I will just export these as sort of constants in um, mass since this is really what they are, at least in C terms, like uh, there is very little uh, extra checking involved in a compiler, in a C compiler. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. And uh, that means that we will create a new file. I don't know what we will call it. Uh, let's say, um, generate types.c. We will take this and I will try to actually write it in pure C, I mean in libc without even my types, so that it's uh, compiled faster and uh, in general a bit more portable than the rest of the uh, compiler, <clears throat> so that we don't have to change it when we decide to move to a different uh, operating system or something like that. So we will in we will need probably instead of lib.h, right? Uh, we'll also need std io because we'll need to write out the file. I always bring in std int and uh, std bool. So I have uh, like uint32 and so on and so forth, these kind of types. So yeah, the rest is not really important. I should have probably chosen a smaller file, but that's fine. So we can do int main void. And let's start pretty simple. Uh, just have a setup that works, returns a zero and something that we can build and actually we will build it and run during the build. So as the first thing we will put it like uh, as the first thing to be built, this will be uh, generate types C. Uh, then we will actually run this thing. So we'll do uh, build uh, generate types. And if it fails, we will go to failure as well. Okay, let's try to run build and see what happens. Yeah, it's like this. Cannot find the path specified. Um, interesting. So I guess I need to do, to do the full path. So let's try it again. Uh, ah, yeah, we are inside the build directory, so. We don't even need any of that. I guess we should have it like this. Okay, so that's great. Uh, we have our works, everything is 
uh, set up. So we build this thing and then we can run it to generate our stuff. Okay, what are we going to generate? Well, we need to write out some types and maybe let me do it like this actually and bring in it here so that they can see both things and let's start with something simple for now i will not even write it to file um, or maybe i will let's see okay we need to represent enums and we need to represent structs but i will not do anything fancy in my program because i don't need to i there will be no processing on these types there will be basically no um, kind of operations i just need to dump them into formats and you can see a bunch of like pretty complicated meta stuff where people like will try to parse out the c definitions where they parse out a special definition that they have but honestly i think it's just easier to to do all of that um on strings most of the time and there is no real reason to overcomplicate it so here's my idea of how i want to do it let's start with the um, with this stuff so i'll just um, bring it in i will uh, replace uh, this with a quote so that we have strings and i guess i can replace this with another quote and we then will have nice strings we can put these strings into an array and just output it so that's gonna be const char star um operand types is this and we need to go through it so i know inter 64t i is zero i is less than we don't have even a count of but it's something we can pretty easily bring in so count of or let me just i guess uh, take it from here right so we can say uh, count of operand types and plus plus i and printf uh, percent s slash n so we c our output doesn't look so terrible and uh, we say operand types of i okay that builds and we can see that uh, we have our types also if you notice because I don't bring a lot of stuff besides the standard library uh, the whole compilation is super fast in fact uh, the majority of the reason why uh, these files like all the other uh, compilation units in the program take so much time is because mostly because we bring in uh, windows.h and it's gigantic like if you try to just expand all the macros and print out windows.h it's i don't know i think it's several megabytes in size or something like that it's it's crazy um yeah so continuing with uh, this stuff we have the types but we also need to know uh, the type of the I guess maybe I want to do this concatenation of enums in the program instead of doing it uh, manually. So that's a bit less work for me. How would I do that? Well, um, what I can do is say 
something like this. We'll have a struct. So if you don't know, in C you can define uh, struct types in line like this instead of like having it uh, outside, which sometimes comes uh, pretty handy. Uh, we can have struct uh, types. So this will be our sort of main thing. And inside of it, we'll have, or maybe we can say that it's going to be an enum, enum like this. After all, I will will extract it here. So it is because we'll need might need to reuse it. Anyhow, um, enum will have a name. Right, and it enum will have um, what it will have. It will have different options, and since we have these guys here where they are repeating and they have explicit value, I guess we also need to provide a value for all of them. So let's do that. We say const char or I guess we will need to have a way to represent both the name and the value. So let's do that. Uh, we'll have TabDev, TabDev, um, enum item, I'm sure start name, and well, let's say that's, I think it's an S32, like all enums are S32 in C, at least I believe so. S32 value. Okay, and I think I will explicitly specify values even for these uh, guys. So they will be, um, instead of a thematic one, they will always have uh, value specified because of how we're gonna translate it into mass for them being just constants. A name in a, in a item, uh, items, whatever. So let's now have this one. We will say in um, operand type is this. So we have name is operand type and then items and for each item it is pretty straightforward we have then do like none uh, zero and so on and so forth so this is any this is e flags and uh, this is uh, register xmm Immediate eight sixteen thirty two sixty four memory indirect seep rip relative and a couple more. This is relative import and uh, label 32. And since this is just a C program, if I feel lazy and I don't want to uh, do this numbering myself or do want to do it automatically, I mean, we can just do it, right? We can say that. Um, a 32 value is uh, zero and here I can say value plus plus 
and that's it right it will just generate whatever we want and it will be pretty neat okay so that was previous code now we need to make it uh, slightly different so we print f um type def in um slash n and then we close this or i guess like this uh, percent s and we put operand type name so this is sort of an outer part of the code and inside we will go through operand type items i guess it might be nicer to extract this here so we'll say in um item star or item is let's do star items is this and we have item actually we will put operand type name first right because we want to have this underscore here so it's going to be operand type name then it goes item name then we'll be this is percent s equals and then we also need a comma and we will need percent t and item value let's see how that is time destruct yeah um, in 32 t Good again in thirty two T. And we're missing a semicolon here. Um yeah, now that we have it like this, we don't really have the size, so I guess what I will do instead is what well let's uh, extract it out and say you know items parent type items is this and then we don't have to uh, deal with any of that you can put items and you can say item count is count of items and the reason i want to do that is because eventually we'll have a bunch of types right and we will need a dynamic count um, but for now that's front type item count Clear the identifier count of uh, yeah item count so int sixty four t Okay, let's try to see. That looks pretty much like what I would want it to look like. We, of course, need to have some nice padding, and now we have our first type. All of this is pretty nice, and we are ready 
uh, to start working on the second one. I will probably skip registers because it's the same thing. The only thing is that uh, the, the values will be hard coded. So it's more interesting, I guess, how we would deal with a struct, but it's gonna be pretty similar setup as well. So what are we going to take? Well, let's, I guess, take... So if these are just constants, then um, doing something like a parentheses will be a bit complicated in mass. I guess we will have to add support for um, some form of enums. I think right now there is even... Where is it? Mm, yeah, there is uh, this sort of tagged union descriptor, which I implemented at some point, but that will need uh, better support eventually. So let's do something, I don't know. This sounds pretty good to me. Again, the uh, next thing that we will run into is we don't have unsigned types. So I guess that's another thing to do uh, soonish, but uh, this is also sort of one of the reasons why I started to try to actually uh, make this work because it shows us exactly what are the next steps that are necessary. Like another thing is um, arrays. And while we technically have arrays in Menes, uh, we don't have um, this kind of uh, definition for an array and I will need to decide what is the right array type. Uh, anyhow. Let's take the label and do a struct as well. So struct, uh, I guess, will be very similar to this thing, where we'll have like struct, it will be struct item, struct item, and instead of value, the only difference is gonna be there's gonna be const char star. Uh, for now, I will just make uh, the type uh, string, nothing really fancy. I mean, if I screw up this type and it will be something wrong, uh, when we try to compile the main program, the, we will get the error anyway, so we don't need to like be very fancy and try to reference. Uh, like if I want to reference operand type, I don't need to do anything uh, weird. So let's uh, do that. I will take this stuff, I will put it over here. We will, we will not need the value, we will have an struct item, I don't know, label items, and they are in C order, so we will say that it is a bool, which is something that we also don't really have in um, mass, but I could easily alias um, signed 8 to bool, which I think is exactly what it is anyway in C. I can verify it's either signed or unsigned byte, so that's not a, really a problem. Uh, we have resolved, and we have, for now I'll just say that it's, oh, let's just say u32 uh, and we would have target RVA, and then we have label, struct, label, struct. That's basically the same thing as we have here, except it will be struct, and label, struct. Item count, uh, struct item, and the only difference is they just go one after each other, and there's gonna be a semicolon instead of a colon. We will not have operand type name, we will have item type and item name. Okay, everything seems to be fine, and I forgot to change thing here where we say struct uh, label struct 
Okay, so that's basically it for the C things. Uh, apart from that, I will need to be able to take care of the unions, I guess, but that is something for us to do once we have it working in the mass, because right now it will not make any sense to bring them out anyway. And the functions will come eventually as well. Uh, for now, let's just try to figure out what it will look like when we generate um, mass definitions. And to do that, first I will introduce another uh, struct which will be type, we would get the enum for type tag, and this will be type tag enum, and type to extract, maybe other way around. So type tag tag and the actual union of uh, struct struct or enum enum cool Let me think about how I want to structure this loop. I guess uh, we, I will extract uh, saying that uh, void uh, print struct or print type, uh, print, let's call it print C type. Uh, it will take a type star and it will do one of these things, or rather one of these things. So I will say that switch of type tag, case type tag struct, and then we will do printing of the struct. And if we have an enum, we will have the printing of an enum. Okay. And I guess uh, since this is like it's not a program that meant to be to get very complicated or survive for too long at least hopefully then I can even do things like have globals and not be very uh, afraid of them so we'll say um, bool um, should Uh, let's let's do it at least a bit more correctly. Type def enum output mode and output mode will be C or output mode will be mass. Then we'll have uh, output mode output mode. That's a global and by default it is going to be uh, C. Then we'll have a wrapper function that is just print type. And what it will do is we will do switch on that output mode and output either C type or output and mass type. So type uh, output mode uh, case output mode C. Um, then we just say print C type type. Um, break otherwise mass print mass type break. 
So now this also means that we can take these things and put them inside of blocks so we don't have to um, deal with the scoping. Like we can always call these items, we can always call these uh, type. And I will just say something along the lines of uh, print type ampersand uh, type and tag is uh, type tag and this is an enum and then enum is type something like that we also have this struct and I can do it here as well. Here it will be type struct, struct is type, so we can do type, we can do items. This is just gonna make uh, copy pasting easier or I could even um, I could even extract these into a macro and uh, this will be even better and honestly like this is this looks pretty fine to me uh, we have this is very readable we can do automatic values we can do non-automatic values we have types and whatnot and we are ready to um, roll with this the only thing is i need to have now this new one Obviously, mass has different syntax, so this is something that we will need to change now. We will take the struct name, and struct name goes into here. So we say percent %s, then it will be double colon. Struct, we don't need a semicolon here. We do want uh, this stuff. Um, let me remember, I don't think we need semicolons here either, but we will need to have a single colon and then the name and the type are swapped. So we have uh, first this thing, then this thing. For enums, as I said, for now, we don't really have a good uh, setup to handle them. So they will be just globals. Like so. That looks fine. And let's just for now, at some points I will make it a common line switch, but for now, or not even a common line switch, we want to output both, right? So uh, eventually uh, we'll do that. For now though, let's just explicitly set output mode to mess and see how we are. So not output, no out mode, but output mode. It's good, label struct, yeah, you need to be uh, type struct name. Okay, and here is a type enum. And here's type struct as well. Okay, that works. And here is our uh, mess output. We can even take this stuff. For now, I'll just uh, manually copy paste it into some fixture. So we'll have, we have actually, let's just Shove it in here for now and see if that works. So this will not work actually. So it is time for us maybe to do that as well. So what I will do is I will say that U32 is S32 and then I will say that bool is S8. And here's fix me actually add 
unsigned types. Now it should work, I think. Let's see if it is actually the case. Let's run the tests. And all the tests are passing, so at least we are able to um, tokenize this stuff. We, we never actually use these things, so uh, there is no uh, there is no real test for it, but the, at least the syntax is more or less correct. Now, one thing I'm considering, so first let me add maybe all the unsigned types in here for now so that we could output anything that we want. But in generate types, what I'm thinking is I want to have a prefix. So I want all the types for mass to be prefixed with uh, mass something. So if we build now, yeah, I like that actually better. Honestly, in C, it probably is also a good idea to do this. So I might do it off stream as well and add a prefix so we have a kind of a poor man's namespace in C to, to not conflict with anything else possibly and that should help with mass as well um, at least until here we support some kind of uh, scoping which also might be a fun project to do so yeah this is basically what I wanted to do uh, what I will do off stream is I will take these types and I will sort of put them over here. It will generate both versions, uh, the C version and the mass version. And then uh, we will go from there. I said we are definitely missing proper support for parsing and defining tagged unions or enums, or at least I prefer uh, tagged unions as they are more powerful version of enums. Uh, then we are we need to figure out something with arrays, so that might be a thing to to do on video as well. Although the arrays themselves are not that interesting, it's just that uh, I'm using a lot of them. And yeah, at some point we also will need to be able to expose uh, C functions, but uh, we already can call C functions, like our calling convention is exactly the same, so that should not be a problem either. So that's it for today. I just wanted to show off um, this version of sort of meta programming, um, which I think is pretty straightforward even in C, and it can be very helpful. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully see you next time.